today we are going to design this animated home page so let us see why this home page is known as animated home page you can see the hover effect of this home page right see each of the picture will flip its position and we can see when the user will bring the mouse cursor over the content all the pictures will change its position and individually each of those picture will flip to its position right you can see each of the picture will flip to its position right so this is how this page is called as the animated home page so today we are going to design this animated home page so let us start designing this animated home page so let me again repeat that if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and support me so that i can present you many videos like this so let us start so if you just see the page it has three part header part content part that is the mid section in the content i just have four pictures here and the picture will move and shift its position and it will flip you can see so this is the mid section and we have the got the footer section so i will create first three div header div mid section and the footer right so let me start so here i will write header and after that mid and at last footer so 3d that i have taken over here right so now we are writing the code here in this home.html page so it is a blank page because you can see so i have not written anything right so it will display a blank right only i can see the title because title has been written right so here we know that inside the head we can write the style opening and closing tag so inside the style opening and closing tag we can define the css property and value for the html element so right so here i will define the css property and value for this header so if i write here header height so height will be 150 px and background color so let me just give a background color right and now i will check how it looks so you can see this is the header that we have created fine now body has some default margin that i will remove right so body margin will be removed you can see this blank space so this is the default margin of the body which i will remove now right now here i will write footer so for this footer which i have defined as a id type selector i am writing the css property for that so height will be not more than 80 px right and background color will be background color will be let's say 
so this will be the background color now let me check how it looks now this is the footer footer should be position at the bottom right so that I will do later so now inside the footer I will take a paragraph right and I will write here that so something you can write over here right so now let me see how it looks so this is the footer this is how it will looks now it has to be appear right in the center so here I will write footer paragraph right that means the paragraph which has been set under the footer so that I will do one thing I will increase the font size font size will be 28 px color will be white right and if I had to get this right at the center for that I will do one thing so in the footer here I will write display flex right we know that combination of uh, three CSS property and value will get it right at the center align item center and justified content center now we know very well we have used this a uh, three CSS property and value several times we know that by the combination of these three CSS property and value what we can do we can bring anything right at the center right that you can see it came right at the center fine now I will do one thing just inside the header here I will divide this header part first so here first I will add a heading h1 heading right inside the h1 heading I will write this thing only I will write over there inside the heading so if I write this thing here I inside the header part I will place this heading tag right now here I will write header h1 and margin 0px I will remove the margin of the heading and line height so the uh, line height I will just apply the line height so the line height that will be not more than 80 px right now text align that will be at the center text align will be at the center and now let us see how it looks right now I will also do one thing I will change the color C color will be white just see color has been changed to white still it is not over I will change the font style to change the font style I will declare a font face right so here I have already downloaded some font over here from this I will just select a font right so you can see here I will write src url and I will locate a font so from the font folder I will take a font uh, I will take this font so how can I uh, apply this font to this h1 heading for that I have to declare a group that is font family group and I will define a user name let's say uh, font 1 so instead of writing font 1 you could have written anything else this is a uh, user defined name by which I, I, you, you can just use this uh, group of family font and you can you can assign this font style to any text right so let me show you so here I will write 
I will first call this group of fa family font that is font family group I will call and I will use that font one to apply this font style to this heading so here I will write font one now you can see right the font style has been changed now I will also change this font style so for, for to apply the font style over there I will do one thing I will copy this once more and I will just do one thing I will uh, name is font I will name the family group that is font family group as font 2 and a different style I will take here not this style so I will take this style a different style so this is a separate font style right and this font style will be the member of this group that is font family group and user defined name I have given that is font 2 so by calling this font 2 I can directly can I can directly use this uh, style right so you can see here this paragraph which is kept under the footer for this I will use that by first I have to apply the font family group and I will write font 2 so font 2 that uh, the user defined name which I have given here to uh, declare this uh, font face and this style I can apply this style which will now incorporate uh, to this paragraph which has been kept under the footer right I hope you have understood now let me show you you can see the style has been changed now under this footer I will do one thing I will just uh, I will create a navigation bar right so you can see this is the header section the header section has been divided by two parts the first part will be the heading tag after that I will create another part that will be another div right so this is the bottom part of the header section so this will be name as menu right so the header section has been divided by two parts the first part is the heading tag the second part is the, that is the bottom part below below the heading that will be the menu so here I will write this is the ID selector which I have used for declaring the menu right now for the menu I will give height height will be let's say uh, 70 px right and background color that will be not more than okay just less than black color uh, close to black color so I will just give this color uh, let's give this color right so now let us see how it looks you can see this is the menu uh, menu portion so now I can do one thing inside the menu portion so inside the menu I will uh, keep two part that is the navigation bar and logo so to create a navigation bar I will use the another list I will use another list to create the navigation bar so you, you know that another list uh, that contains the list th that that will be referred by li right so five list I will take because I want to create five menu under this navigation bar the first will be home the second will be about us right and the third will be gallery the uh, fourth will be after the gallery I will write query the fifth will be contact us right now okay so now let's see how it looks right you can see now still I have to do one thing first thing I'll do I have to write the CSS for the on order list which I have created just now under the menu so here I'll write menu you will right and let me write here menu you will li so so you can see this list which is uh, kept inside the another list 
and an unordered list that has been placed inside the menu. So this is the flow which I have written. Now here I will write float left right and color will be white. Now let's see how it looks. Now you can see it it has been shifted right side one after another in a horizontal way. Previously it was uh, shown in a vertical manner but now it has spread in a horizontal way right now first thing I will do I will write width for the UL the width will be let's say 50% right and I will give a color background color that that will be red right so I will remove the background color later so now I have given the background color to just identify how much space it, ha it has taken so with the color I also need to give the height so I will also give height height will be uh, 70 px right so why I have given 70 px height for the UL because the height of the menu that is 70 px so height of the UL which is kept inside the menu that should not exceed 70 px right you can see over here this is the height so this much width the UL that is the another list has occupied so the red color I will remove later right so now you can see so now I will write the width property for the LI so here I will write width that will be 20 percent now why I have given 20 percent because you can see I have got 5 menu so 5 into 20 that is 100 percent so it will occupy total space of the unordered list so you can see now right now another thing I will do over here that is you can see text align that is center so each of those li that is each of those menu will align at the horizontal center right now you can see this dot this dot these dots are nothing but the list style so I will remove those list style none I don't need any list style another thing I will do that is uh, I will get those to vertical center to get those to vertical center I, I have to write line height line height how much uh, 70 px why I have written line height 70 px simply because the height of the unordered list that is 70 px so the line height of the menu should not exceed 70 px right so that is why I have written you can see still it is not at the vertical center and this dot exists so if I refresh now you can see all the dot has been removed right all the dot has been removed and it had appeared right at the center so now I have to remove something else uh, the the another list has some default margin which I will remove so margin will be 0 px let's see you can see the margin will be 0 px now it appeared properly with the same line height of the menu and also it has some padding I will remove the padding so by default the another list has padding and margin which we need to remove so I have removed those now you can see it will ap appear right at the center right so if you want you can increase the font size of the li font size I will increase to 24 px right and uh, right 24 px fine now I will do one thing I will remove this background red color I don't need this background red color now this is how it will look now I will uh, do one thing I will apply the hover effect right here so if the user bring the mouse cursor over those menu the background color will change the background color will be black right so let me show you we can see the background color will change to 
black so what this will happen slowly not immediately so I'll write here transition duration if that is I set to 1 is so it will take 1 second for changing the background color it will not happen immediately you can see it is happening immediately once I get the mouse over the menu the color is changing but this change of color will happen slowly if I apply the transition duration now you can see it is happening slowly and slowly now I will do one thing I will just uh, uh, decrease the opacity of the color for the menu I think that this will look better fine just see slowly slowly the background color is changing now I will put a logo at the right side I will put a logo at the right side so you can see inside the header the top portion I have that is uh, heading tag and the bottom portion I have taken a menu div right and inside the menu div I have got the navigation bar which, has, which actually has occupied 50% of the width right and just under the you will I will write another div so this div will be the logo so here I will name this div as logo so this div will be identified as a logo div right you can see what I have written now so here I will write I can write here logo so width of the logo div that will be 160 px now height of the logo div that will be not more than 70 px why I have taken 70 px so that should match the height of the menu so menu height I have given 70 px ul height that is also 70 px and the height of the menu that is also 70 px so that is why the logo height should be 70 px and not more than that so now I will take a background image right and you can see so under the image folder I have this many number of images you can see so inside this folder I have got image folder and here I have got this many number of images from there I have taken an image right so now background size will be 100 person and undead person now let's see how it looks right so so logo has been created so one thing that I have to do over here I have given width height of the logo logo spelling is fine everything is right so one thing I will do over here that is float right so that should be positioned at the right side no so I have written float right so logo will be positioned at the right side and for this uh, ul that should be aligned at the left side so I will write float left so this uh, navigation bar which I have created by the another list that should be at the left side and the logo which I have created that's n that's just now this should be align this should be aligned at the right hand side right now everything is ready now let me show you how it looks you can see I have got the logo at the right side and here at the left side I have got the navigation bar now I have to create the mid section the footer has to be fit at the bottom and in between we should have the mid section right so now here I will write mid so you can see I have created a mid div over here mid div for that I have to write the height and width so here I will write height the height will be not more than 100% so I have to do some calculation over here just see the calculation so 100% minus the height of the header plus the height of the footer so let us see how much height I have given for the header and footer you can see very simple inside the header I have got the 
H1 heading tag which actually has occupied the height of 80px and also under that I have got the menu which also has occupied the height of 70px total 80 plus 70 how much 150px and I also have got the footer which has occupied the height of 80px total 230px so if I just deduct here uh, 230px right so 100% height minus 230px so that will be the height of the mid section you can see this is the mid section fine now what I will be doing just uh, here I will add a background image right so let me add the background image over here so inside the image folder I have got the background image and image size I will set 100% 100% fine now let us see how it looks you can see this is the image which I have set as a background image for the mid section now I will uh, create those animated portrait so how can I do that the first thing that I am going to do inside the mid section I will create another mid so I will take a div and here I will write inner so I have to take inner mid right so let me write the CSS for this inner mid I double in here inner mid right so let me write the CSS for the inner mid so I will take a width width will be 1200 px right and uh, height will be let's say 600 px fine now let's let me just give a border border will be 2 px right so let me see how it looks now so you can see so I will do one thing I will just reduce the height to 400 px so that it will set to the fit it will just get and fit this inside the uh, mid so right you can see white border fine now I have to get this thing right at the center so how can I do that so if I write here in the mid section if I write here display flex align item center justify content center now we know that by combination of these three CSS property and value we can get any item right at the center so we have got this right at the center now inside this I will add those picture one after another so let us add the picture over here so here I will do one thing not here inside the inner mid so you can see image right instead of image I can also take div so so let me uh, name this as so uh, I will do one thing I will write the style over here right and here I will do one thing I will write background image and background image I will take for this div inside the folder you can see this four picture I have the first picture I have set here now uh, this will carry second picture so I have taken four div four div will carry four picture right so you can see what I have written over here now I have to write the CSS for 
this for div so simply I can write over here that in our mid right div so by writing in this way I can assign the CSS property for all those four div right so if I write here that width how much width I will give so just calculate uh, that how much width you want to give so let's let give uh, the width of uh, 250 px so and height height let us give the height of 350 px now let's see how it looks another thing I will write here float left right float left now just see how it looks you can see those four pictures right and another thing that's ju that we have to add over here that is background size right background size will be 100% and 100% so now you can see all those four pictures has been set like this over here right now just calculate the width of the div that is 1200 px this white border div that div has the width of 1200 px and i have got four pictures inside that div which already had occupied 250 into 4 that is 1000 px so how much is left 200 px that is left 1000 px that has been occupied by 4 div have you understood the calculation i hope you have understood the calculation so you can see this space is 200 px right 200 px now i will add the position for this four picture right so just let us add the position so now you can see we have got this four div right and all this div that has been aligned one after another why that is because by default the position of the div is relative position when the position will be relative then the object will appear one after another right now what i will do here for the div i will write the position over here the position will be not relative that will be absolute as i told you by default the position is to be relative for all objects right so now i have given the position uh, that is now absolute so position uh, that is the property absolute will be the value now what will happen let us see so now if i go and replace the browser now you can see all the three div or you can say all the three uh, pictures which was there in inside the div has disappeared right we only can see one div or you can say one picture actually let me say you we are just watching the first div or you can see the first picture that is here so we can only see this particular div and inside the div this uh, this is the picture which is said to be as a background picture so that is why we can only see this div right and uh, this three divs that we can't see why we can't see that is the question right so let me tell you that these three divs are there only but the position has been changed as i have given the position absolute all these three div will be positioned right at this point the starting position will be right at here that that you can see the border at the starting position all the divs will be at the starting position right now you uh, you just try to imagine 
if all the div will be at the starting position that means each of these div are set one after another try to imagine a card we play card no while we play card if we just arrange all the card now what we can see we can only see the first card from the top from the top view we can only see the first card and all other card which are kept just below the first card that will not be seen that will be invisible right so same thing that has happened over here only we can see the first div and other three div that we can't see but all those divs exist that actually that those div have gone behind this div that is why we can't see right so we have just applied the position here absolute so this is very very important for the animation purpose as we are going to do the animation no for that we have uh, set this property that is position absolute now let us uh, move on right so see what i will do now the second div has to be placed over here just see my cursor here now for that i will write here just see what i am i am going to write so now here i will write int child right so you must know this is child type selector so what does this mean this means i am going to address the second div so this is the child div there are four divs right now i am addressing to this div by writing over here like this inside the inner mid div now the second child div that is the second div right so here i will write just the margin the margin so margin left if i write the margin left 250 px what will happen let's see 250 px so i have written margin left that is 250 px right for the second div that is for the second div now just see what happen if i refresh the browser now you can see this is the second picture so here i have taken margin for the second div how much margin that is 250 px you can see 250 px why i have taken margin 250 px because the width of each div is 250 px as because all the div has gone one after another behind the first div if i give 150 that is 250 px that is the width the margin which will be equal to the width of the div then the second div will appear just after that right now you can see now i want to add further margin here further margin how much margin now let me just do the calculation the width of the inner mid div that is 1200 px now there are four picture we have taken four picture right inside the four div right as a background picture right now each of the div having the width of 250 px now 250 into 4 1000 px 4 div will occupy 1000 px now deduct 1000 px from 1200 px 200 px that is left now i will do one thing i will deduct 200 200 px by 3 that will be 66 px point something so if i add another 66 px here so what will happen so let me add here uh another 66 so it will be 316 right this much will be right now if i write here like this 0.66 so this will be exact now just see what will happen right we have got the margin now i will do one thing this thing i will copy and here i will write 3 that means i am going to address third div this is third div child div right now here i will add 250 
plus 250 that is 250 plus 250 that is 500 500 plus uh, 66 and here also it, it will be 66 right that means 132 plus uh, 500 that means it will be how much 500 plus 132 that means 632 this much 632 or uh, I may write 633 px so let me just see just see fine right now uh, for the fourth div I am going to write here just see so how many picture 1 2 3 250 into 3 that is 750 and now 66 66 and here also it will be 66 so 192 how much 66 66 and 66 or it will be better if you do one thing that is uh, 1200 minus if you deduct 1200 minus 250 that will be 950 so it is better if you write here 950 950 just see right you can see it is fit to this uh, white box now you can see I will just add margin at the top position I will add margin so I will add margin at the top position for the first child D so here I will write 1 right so margin top that will be 20 px only for the first one only only for the first one and just see margin top right and here I will write transform skew y minus 3 so just see how will it look now you can see 3 is much less if I make it to 5 that will be good just uh, see you can see fine right it, it, it has been bended left side because I have written skewed transform skewed that is 5 degree right and if I copy this and same thing I will put it here for the fourth one fourth diff just see but this will be positive not negative because it will bend other side this one it will bend other side and margin top will be 20 px right fine now it is the time to perform the animation so first thing I will do I will just uh, apply hover effect to each of this div so to do that I will do one thing if I write here so if I just write hover for the first one for the first div I am applying the app I am applying the hover effect so what it will happen over here so if I write here transform scale right x that is minus 1 so just see it will uh, skew now this thing will happen slowly and uh, slowly so just see if I write here transition duration 3s so this will happen slowly and slowly just see slowly and slowly right now I will do one thing here also I will write transition duration that is one is so for that you can see slowly if I move the mouse see 
slowly it is just rotating flipping it is having the flip effect and once I remove the mouse three it is taking three second and now it is taking one second for the reversal we can see for the reversal it will take one second and for the first time using the hover uh, the skew the skew effect with the hover it will take three second and the reversal process will go through uh, within the one second right now same thing I will uh, apply for all so you can uh, just see let me apply this thing for all I will write to right and instead of that if I write like this just see if I just write like this uh, instead of writing to each of those I can also write like this see I can write it over here see over here so for all not for uh, only uh, one diff for all so all the diff which are which are placed inside the inanimate diff all those four diff which are placed inside the inner diff that will have hover effect now see just see you can see these two are not working I think for those two I have to write separately so let me write separately for those two so if I just go and write here separately ok so separately I write for those two for the first one and for the last one right so just see right now here I'll do one thing also something more I have to change that is uh, this effect this effect has to be changed over here now this will be minus right and for this one this will be positive because opposite opposite side it will bend just see just see okay now here I will add here one thing just see now it will change the position so each and every div will change its position for that I have to write over here that is if uh, the user will hover over the mid div right mid div then what will happen then then the inanimate diff that is here inanimate diff inanimate diff after that diff and the first child one this one it will change the position so what position it will take let me show you here so this is the first div no so it will take this position so if I write the C so if user hover the uh, center that is mid div then what will happen inside the inanimate div the first element child element that is first 
child animal uh, child uh, the element div that will take this margin that is 950 px why 950 px margin that is the margin of the you can see fourth div fourth div let me show you this is this is the div right it has margin of 950 px from the starting now I am applying the same margin for this particular div so that this will come here this div will come here and change the position just see what will happen now let me show you now if I refresh and bring the mouse over here now you can see it will change the position just let me see once more what happened so this one if I just write like this let let me see okay oh, one thing I have to change over here uh, if I uh, inner meet I double n er inner meet just, just let me see just uh, wait hmm. just see right just see can I see the position that has been changed right now same thing I will do for all now the I will do it for the second one for the second child leave that is for this one so this div will go here right this div will go here for that the margin uh, left which I have given for the third div that I have to apply for the second div right so you can see for the third div I have given margin that is 633px so this margin I will apply now for the second one with the hover effect here right just see right you can see now right now now just see what I do over here now for the third one third one third one will come to the second position third one will come to the second position so for the second you can see for the second picture the margin which I have given earlier that you can see over here for the second uh, picture this was the margin this margin I will put it for the third one just see very 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 easy right here right now just see and the fourth one will be margin left 0 px why margin left will be 0, 0 px because you can see the fourth one will come here that means 0 px margin for the first picture there was no margin no so let me just show you just show you right just see right just see now you can see Another thing I have to just uh, change over here that is here the skew the skew I have to change here this thing I have to write over here yeah let's see uh, just see this one and uh, so for the fourth one this will be the skew effect and for the first for the first one we can see for the first one here uh, this will be the skew right now just see 
right now see each of those will rotate right now I will just remove the border yeah, so you can see uh, I have given a border for the inner mid diff border I have given earlier only to align the photo so now I did not require this border I will just remove the border now you can see border is no more required right simply it will work like this two is not rotating just let me check why this two is not uh, rotating so just let me once check so you can see what I've done so here I have written inner mid diff shoot over and slowly slowly it will hover you can see it will rotate slowly and for the for this one for the for this one the first one I have uh, written this this will also hover here and let me just uh, cut this thing from here if I put it right at the bottom here just uh, let me see will it will it hover or not now you can see it is hovering right see right see now it will hover just see see it is hovering right now so what I have to do and another one is here this one uh, and this one fourth one right you can see just let me just check another one is fourth one this one this one also I will take it over here la at the last just see now it will all will over just see let's see this is a animated home page which I have created right animated home page each of those will just flip individually just see each of the picture is flipping individually right you can see and, and if I bring the mouse over here all the picture is slowly slowly changing its position right right just see now I hope you will love this video so I have completed uh, designing this animated uh, home page for you and many more video I will prepare but for that you have to subscribe the channel I request you if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe the channel and support me so that I will present you this kind of videos more and let me want inform you one thing that uh, if you are the beginners if you don't know how to start writing the basic HTML and CSS you can visit the website that website link I will give in the description below you find the website link there I have given detailed lecture for the beginners from the starting level how to write basic HTML tags then how to apply the CSS property from the very basics level right then the I, I have also explained JavaScript three things are most important for designing a website that is uh, HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript unless you will be the master of these three things you can't ever be a good front-end uh, designer to be a good front-end designer you have to gain at least enough knowledge in HTML, CSS and JavaScript so I am Biswajit Mukherjee so I have already prepared many lectures and I have uploaded to my channel I have my own websites where you can do this free courses website link will find in the description below 
and after completing the website after completing uh, watching all the video lectures be competent enough and uh, you you can also give exam in the website you will find a exam menu and from that menu you can give exam online examination the examination will be taken in mcq mode you can you ha you have to register your detail first after that uh, enrollment number that will be generated after you're completing the registration process so with that enrollment number you can give exam if you if you can successfully score the pass marks that is 40 you can give exam again so for that again we have to uh, generate another enrollment number by your other number and date of birth so that option will be available in the website that you can find over there so if you score 40 or above then a certificate will be generated you can download the certificate from the certificate option there uh, there is option uh, where you can download the certificate so you can find the website given below uh, in the link so that you can start as a beginners from the basics level right so thank you for paying attention and watching this video till the end and support me subscribe my channel if you like this video please click the like button and share this video to your friends relatives and anybody so that i can help everybody and okay thank you for today let me close the class so i will end the class over here